imagine this, a cold rainy night and a detective stands over a lifeless body. It's not a scene from a movie, but the harsh reality of a detective's life. As the sun rises, a detective's day begins, often much earlier than most. A life in the shadows, their workday is punctuated by the grim details of the world's darkest corners. Like Christopher Barling, a veteran with the Los Angeles Police Department's Homicide Division, these individuals navigate through a maze of crime scenes, investigations, and the unending quest for justice. The day starts early, sometimes as early as six in the morning. Over a quick coffee, detectives meet with their teams, reviewing updates on ongoing investigations and assigning tasks for the day. The job is not just a nine to five affair. It stretches well into the night and often into the early hours of the next morning. It's a life lived in a constant state of readiness, never knowing when the next call will come, signaling the start of a new case, a new mystery to solve. And then there are the crime scenes, gruesome, stark reminders of the fragility of life. It's here that detectives like Barling assess the situation, strategize and call in additional resources if needed. It's a job that requires a keen eye, a sharp mind and a strong stomach. The toll of the job doesn't stop at the physical exhaustion. There's a mental and emotional burden too. Every unsolved case weighs heavy on their minds, a puzzle that demands to be solved a victim who deserves justice. Over the years, the numbers add up. In a decade, Barling's division saw 549 murders, with about 250 cases still open. Each one a constant reminder of the work that remains to be done. Despite the challenges, detectives find gratification in their work. There's a satisfaction in watching a team come together to solve a case, in bringing closure to a victim's family, and in the pursuit of justice. But there is an unseen toll, a toll that isn't often talked about. It's the weight of the unsolved cases, the long hours, the missed family dinners, and the stress that comes with the job. It's the harsh reality of a detective's life. Unseen by many, detectives carry the weight of these realities every day. Every detective has that one case that haunts them, that one case that never leaves them. In the heart of Los Angeles, Detective Christopher Barling a seasoned investigator with the LAPD, carries the weight of two particular cases that have etched themselves into his memory. Aaron Shannon Jr., a five-year-old boy, and Kashmir James, a 25-year-old woman, both victims of senseless violence. Their stories still echo in the hallways of the 77th Division. Aaron, a child full of life and promise, was tragically caught in the crossfire of a gang dispute. His life cut short on a day that was meant for costumes and candy not gunfire and grief. Then there was Kashmir, a young mother, gunned down on Christmas Day, her daughter left orphaned, a chilling reminder of the ruthless disregard for life that detectives face daily. Cases like these are not just files on a desk, they are lives abruptly ended, families torn apart, communities left in mourning. They are the faces that stare back at detectives in the quiet hours of the night, the names that echo in the silence, the stories that become a part of them, these cases take a toll, an emotional burden that often goes unseen. They're a stark reminder of the fragility of life, the pervasiveness of violence, and the heavy responsibility that detectives carry in their pursuit of justice. The quest for answers becomes a personal mission, a race against time, and a fight for closure for the victim's families. But it's not just about solving the case, it's about bearing witness to the stories behind the crime scene tape. It's about giving voice to the voiceless. It's about holding on to humanity in the face of inhumanity. It's about finding light in the darkest corners of our society. These stories are not just cases to be solved. They become a part of the detective's life. The job does not end when the detective leaves the crime scene. It follows them home. The life of a detective isn't confined within the four walls of a police station or within the boundaries of a crime scene. It spills over into their personal lives, often with significant impact. The relentless pursuit of justice, the constant exposure to the darker side of humanity, the endless hours spent sifting through evidence. All of these aspects of their job have a way of seeping into their personal lives, affecting relationships and overall well-being. Imagine coming home after a long day of investigating brutal crimes, trying to switch off and engage in everyday activities. It's not as easy as it sounds. 
Every dinner conversation, every social gathering, every quiet moment alone is often invaded by the unsolved mysteries and faces of victims waiting for justice. Anecdotes shared by detectives on online platforms like Reddit reveal this harsh reality. One detective shared how the job has made them hypervigilant, always on guard, even in their own homes. Another shared how their spouse had to get used to their erratic schedules, the late night calls, and the constant preoccupation with ongoing cases. Being a detective can also put a strain on friendships. The job demands an emotional distance, a certain detachment to stay objective. This can sometimes bleed into personal relationships, making it difficult for detectives to connect on a deeper level. And then, there are the emotional scars. Detectives bear the burden of witnessing humanity at its worst. They see the aftermath of heinous crimes. They meet grieving families. They chase monsters in human form. This exposure to continuous trauma can lead to emotional exhaustion, and in some cases, even post-traumatic stress disorder. However, it's important to remember that despite these challenges, these men and women choose to stay in their roles, driven by a sense of duty and a commitment to justice. They navigate the thin line between their professional and personal lives with an admirable resilience, always ready to bear the cost of their chosen profession. Being a detective is not just a job, it's a lifestyle. The job of a detective is a constant struggle, a struggle for justice, a struggle against time, a struggle within oneself. Each day brings with it a new set of challenges. The pressure to solve cases weighs heavy, like a relentless tide against a steadfast cliff. Each unsolved case is a grim reminder of justice delayed, of a family that still waits for closure, of a killer that still roams free. Underneath this pressure, there is an urgency, a ticking clock that reminds detectives of the crucial hours following a crime, of the fleeting traces of evidence that could lead them to the perpetrator. Navigating the dark underbelly of society is another facet of this struggle. They delve into the world of criminals, where morality is often blurred and danger lurks in every shadow. A world where their badge is a target and their pursuit of justice is met with resistance, threats and sometimes violence. Each step into this world is a step into the unknown, a step taken with the knowledge that it could be their last. But perhaps the most daunting struggle is the one within. The emotional and psychological toll of bearing witness to humanity's darkest deeds can be overwhelming. Images of crime scenes, sounds of the victim's last cries, and the haunting faces of the perpetrators etch themselves onto a detective's psyche like indelible ink on a blank canvas. They carry these memories these ghosts, long after the case files are closed, locked in a mental vault that no key can open. This internal struggle is also a battle against desensitization. To remain empathetic in the face of constant exposure to violence and suffering is a challenge in itself. It's a delicate balancing act, teetering on the edge of emotional involvement and professional detachment. Yet, despite these struggles, despite the pressure, the danger, and the emotional toll, detectives forge on. Their resilience is fueled by a relentless pursuit of justice. Their motivation is the hope that their efforts will bring some semblance of peace to the victims' families, that their work will make a difference, that their struggle will not be in vain. Despite the struggle, detectives continue to fight, driven by a pursuit for justice. In the face of adversity, the spirit of a detective remains unyielding. Imagine the grit it takes to dive into the darkest corners of human nature, day in and day out, and still maintain an unwavering dedication to justice. That's the life of a homicide detective. Amidst the challenges, they persist, driven by a deep-rooted commitment to their job and a dogged determination to seek the truth. Detectives are like seasoned sailors navigating the stormy seas of crime. The waves of unsolved cases and the winds of public scrutiny may batter their ships, but they hold the course, their compass, a strong sense of duty and an unwavering belief in the power of justice. It's not just about solving cases for them. It's about standing up for those who can't, giving a voice to the voiceless and bringing closure to the grieving families. Their job is a testament to their resilience, a badge they wear with pride even in the face of overwhelming odds. The reality is, this job can be a marathon of endurance, long hours, 
high stress situations, and the emotional toll of dealing with the aftermath of violent crimes. But the spirit of a detective isn't easily broken. They take each day as it comes, tackling every challenge with an unwavering resolve. They find satisfaction in the small victories, a lead unraveled, a suspect cornered, a case closed. And in those moments, they're reminded of why they took on this formidable role in the first place. To make a difference, to create a safer world, to ensure that no crime goes unpunished. Their resilience is a beacon that shines through the darkness of crime, a beacon that guides their pursuit of justice. They stand tall, unyielding, ready to face whatever comes their way. Because for them, justice isn't just a concept, it's a calling. The harsh reality of being a detective is a test of spirit and dedication, a testament to the unyielding pursuit of justice.